In today's video, I'm going to show you how to notch your block so you can install your forged rods from Max Peating Rods. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be taking these forged Max Peating Rods and notching the block to install them. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to attach the full floating piston to the rod, um, just in case you didn't know. What we have here is a factory P28 D16Z6 rod, and we're just going to go ahead and compare these real quick so you guys can see the difference. Um, these factory rods are like pencils, they're so easy to break. These ones definitely support power. I ran them in my previous uh, turbo setup, and I was absolutely impressed with them. So we will be attaching a PM6 nip and racing piston. This is a full floating piston. You have to have a full floating piston to install them on these forged rods. So uh, basically we're going to be using a factory P28 for reference. This is a completely stock piston. The arrow here would be facing your timing belt and there's no stamp on the front side, but if you flip it around, there is a stamp on the back side, it has a number two. So if we assemble our piston like this, then everything should be good. These stamp marks here will be facing backwards just like the factory piston. So we're going to go ahead and put the arrow facing the timing belt. And basically to do that, I've already put assembly lube on here, but you'll put assembly lube in and you'll essentially just press that in there just like that. And then we'll take some of these C-clips that typically come with the piston um, and we will put them in. As you can see here, there's number two that is facing the back. As you can see on the back of this, those are the stamp marks. Both of them are facing towards the timing belt. So I hope that clarified some of the how to install the piston to the rod. Before we get any further, I don't want you guys thinking this is a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to install your forged rods. This video is merely to show how to notch your block so you can install your forged rods. I did a video a while back, I'll drop a link in the description. That one is a lot more detailed on how to actually fully install them step by step. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, we have the D16Z6 here. Now we're gonna flip it over, which will reveal the bottom side of the engine. Now we're gonna have to take the main girdle off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I just like to use a breaker bar or something like that and then pop it up like that carefully. Okay, so I marked on the inside here with a Sharpie to show about how much will be taken off of each cylinder. Of course, after all of it's done, we'll put the crankshaft in and make sure that there's no hitting of the rod on the cylinder wall. So next you'll need a carbide bit, which there will be a link in the description for this carbide bit that I'm using. Um, they're really sharp and they work really well. Um, you can get the longer ones, but this one works perfectly fine for this kind of thing. So we're going to go ahead and knock some of the material off. So I'm moving it in a motion like this and not stopping in one specific spot because this will cut real deep in that one spot. So you just want to keep it moving while you do it. Okay, now all four cylinders are notched. It should look something like that. I did go a little bit overboard just to make sure there's enough clearance. Now before we go ahead and put the crankshaft and bolt the connecting rods in to make sure that there's 
plenty of clearance. Um, we're gonna need to get this hot tanked, but since the machine shops are kind of closed right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash this engine outside very thoroughly to make sure there's no metal shavings. Because as you can see on the ground, that's all the metal shavings from doing this. We don't want any of that circulating the engine. So after I go ahead and pressure wash this and dry it, then we'll move on to the next step. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take these caps off. And if you notice, they're numbered. This one's number is 0074, 0074. And the reason for that is, is so you don't get the wrong cap on the wrong rod because you do not want this 0074 on say this rod which is a 0068 you do not want that because they're machined for each rod so make sure to put those on where they come off but we're going to go ahead and loosen these up wearing gloves and we'll put them on the crankshaft and put them in to make sure we have clearance AKA the cam cap on. I already went ahead and put the ACL bearings on here and moved them up. Another thing I wanted to make note of real quick on these Honda engines is there is a difference in size. These two center ones are always longer. So um, if you take just another bolt out and look, the difference is pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go ahead and torque this down. Now that it's all torqued down, we're going to verify, and it does touch the main girdle, main cap, so it will have to be notched. Let me get the camera so you can see. Okay, so right here you can see that it's hitting right up top. So it's the bolt that's hitting. So right here we'll need notched on the inside on all four cylinders. Um, the cap itself isn't hitting this main one here, but you might notch a little bit off of that. Just don't go too far because oil does flow through this. Um, but I would mostly focus on this spot right here, and then you should be good to go.
Okay, now that we've got the main girdle notch cleaned out and all the rods, piston rings, and everything installed, you can see the corresponding uh, connecting rod cap matches to the corresponding rod. So that's like that on all of them. Everything's torqued to the specs using ARP Molly Lube and uh, nothing's hitting. Let me show you. Well, that's basically it for this video on how to notch your block to hold Max Peeting's forged rods. Huge shout out to Max Peeting for giving me an opportunity to do a video on how to notch your block for their rods. Um, links will be in the description. Definitely check out Max Peeting's Instagram. Go give them a follow and check out their website and buy some of their products. Use code THC, that stands for Texas Honda Channel, and that'll get you 8% off of your purchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we'll have more coming to the channel, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.